It's the Italian Fatal Dancers for Black. And again, now the semi final Germany against the Netherlands. The first semi final two pairs of Germany against the Netherlands. Good evening and welcome along to the second section of the day, the men's semi-finals. It's the German side that line up on the left of your picture against the Netherlands away to the right. And what an atmosphere here. There's a look at the German lineup. Remember the starting five. You can give those to you. They are Ress, Hauke, Furster, Felke and Felix Ruiz. Moritz Furster on fine form for the Germans, leading the way with 14 goals at the moment. Germany, the defending champions, they're in it to win it, and their opponents in this semi-final are the Netherlands. There's their squad of 12, coached by Robin Roche, Kudegebere in goal, Kellerman, Tigues, Lies, and Rohoff in the starting five. It's Kellerman, the number nine, that's been doing all the damage as far as goals are concerned. Glimpse inside the German huddle then to gauge the atmosphere. And well, Stefan Kermes can only sit back and watch now in the first half. <laughs> A lone figure there sat on the bench. He will be joined by his substitutes in just a moment's time We're just a couple of moments away from starting this first semi-final of the men's draw Germany versus Netherlands that'll be followed up by Austria versus Iran the Germans take their seats along with the fans here in the Leipzig arena and soon the techno beats will be no more Crank it up, DJ. It's match 40 of the Indoor Hockey World Cup. 
and it's a semi-final between Germany and Netherlands. Netherlands playing in the all-orange strip from right to left. Both sides having played in the game this morning, their quarter-final matches, both sides victorious. And the first chance is going to go the Netherlands' way. Oh! What about that? The angle on that shot was ridiculous. Netherlands go ahead. Scoring inside the first minute. It's a counter-attack goal. And that is a stupid angle from Robert Tiguez. How on earth did he squeeze that one by Felix Ruiz in the German goal? First blood to the Netherlands. Germany nil, Netherlands won. What a start. Well, the crowd had hardly had a chance to take their seats and finish their curry first. Germans find themselves behind here. It all came from attack, and there's almost an equaliser from Tobias Holker. Forced a good save from Rude Gebeure. Oh, well, I hope it stays like this the whole game. Backing in there from Dutch number nine, Kellerman. Nine goals in the tournament for him. What an electric start to this game. You are just joining us. You've missed the first goal. Robert Tiguez adding a fifth to his World Cup tally. This is Rohoff at the back who created that chance for Tiguez to score. Again, if you missed it, you'll have to see the half-time highlights. Halka comes forward. Ball's come up off the stick of the defender there. Germany just so quick to take that ball there. Empire wanting the ball stopped. Legwork just crabbing along. First uh, shot on target. And a comfortable left boot from Fuda Gabura. Deflection did eventually come in from first to from that play. See this ball. Tobias Holker. That lovely one-two. Just drifted through, and there was Moritz first to shot. Three really good saves early on from the Dutch goalkeeper. And one rather tidy goal for Robert Tiguez. Barge in there as well that the umpires don't like. Well, it's going to be a physical game, that's for sure. And the Germans have the crowd. They are the defending champions looking to get through to their fourth consecutive indoor hockey World Cup final. The Germans who won in Poznan in 2011, they won in Vienna before that in 2007, and they won right here in Leipzig back in 2003 at the first ever edition of the Indoor Hockey World Cup. Venka over the ball. Strakowski shielding the ball. Eleven goals in the tournament so far for Valer Strakowski. Two games either in the final or not for both these teams still to go. Possible final as well. 
against either Austria or Iran. Gap there for Benka to take advantage of. A two on one here now for the Netherlands. Looking to extend their lead. Again, it's another counter attack. Again, they come down the right side and again they score. Germany are behind by two. It's Germany nil, Netherlands two. You could just sense it brewing there. This was the driving run and peeled back and then just tucked delicately underneath the goalkeeper. And the goal scorer is Kasper van Dijk. That adds to Robert Tiguez's goal. Netherlands ranked sixth in the world as far as indoor hockey goes. What are you thinking of the game so far? Let us know on social media. We know you're on it. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook details at the bottom of your screen there. And the Netherlands going along rather tidily here. Can they make it three? Oh, yes, surely. No, couldn't get a grip of it. It was the goal scorer, Kasper van Dijk. Just tried to shovel it under his body. Well, they are running rings around the German defence at the moment. A similar move, there's the goal from a couple of moments ago. Van Dijk able to get that ball underneath the goalkeeper, Felix Ruiz. And it's slightly numb the crowd here in Leipzig, those two early goals. Tobias Holker with the restart, the FIH 2013 Player of the Year, just parried away by Kubelkeburger. Is that all you've got, he says. Otto with the shooting chance for Germany. Alexander Otto has 12 goals in the tournament. Another chance here. Tiguez. Oh, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, surely there's three. What on earth is going on out there? Eight minutes played. The Netherlands dominating. Germany having to call a timeout. It's Germany nil. Netherlands three. Let's have another look back at this goal. Great stick skills from Kellerman. Persistence to get it past the keeper again. There it is, bobble short. Thank you, please. Now, if you think this game is over, think again. Germany may be 3 0 down, but they are more than capable of scoring all three of those goals in 90 seconds. They need to score next, ideally. Great hunger and desire from the Netherlands to want to win this game. Ah, great stick skills too. Well, that's how to do it. Turning the 2012 FIH Player of the Year, Moritz first to inside out there. This is Rohoff at the back who's ball. Doesn't find its target, was aiming for Van der Peppel, who we saw with those stick skills moments ago. Here is Moritz Verster. Good telepathy between those two players. Tiguez, Rohoff. He's got Balk away to his right-hand side, ends up in the back of the goal, but no deflection inside the circle. Route one ball this time for Germany. Game really starting to stretch. You can hardly hear yourself think.
11 minutes left to play. If you are just tuning in. Yep, that's right. Germany, the defending champions, down by three goals to nil against the Netherlands. Robert Tigues putting the Netherlands ahead. Kesper van Dijk adding a second and Bjorn Kellerman a third. And here are the Netherlands in possession, all in orange if you're new to the sport. Tobias Holker, the German captain. Oh, just put it behind his teammate. Well left. Well, the frustration there. First, I felt he deserved the penalty corner. <laughs> Whistles, as you expect, echoing around the Leipzig Arena. I'm sure they wouldn't be if we were in the heart of the Netherlands. Well, welcome on board wherever you're watching this game. Ten minutes gone in the first half. This semi-final bank between the Germans and the Dutch. Kellerman just getting a sense of order in the Dutch house. This is Lies. Again on the left-hand flank. Electrifying start for the Netherlands. Bolted out of the start gates in this game. Strakowski. Let's to his right hand side. Germans just rotating furiously there up front. Oh dear. An uncharacteristic mistake there from. Strakowski gives possession back to the Netherlands. Tigues draws the players in. Gets the return ball off that. Bounce and ricochet down those left-hand boards. It's always going to be harder to come down the left because you're going onto the open stick of the German defenders. So that's why the teams tend to opt to go down the right channel. Pass incomplete. Well, he's first uh, having a word in the ear of his coach, Stefan Kermes. They've all been here before, those German players. The more experienced of them anyway, the likes of Hulker and Moritz Furster. Don't forget they're three times Olympic champions. Those two, along with Strakowski, who's out on the pitch at the moment. The German number 26. And winners in Leipzig here in 2003, winners in 2007 and in 2011. Germany look to get one back. Strakowski puts in his claim for a PC. had to stop play there because Rohoff was still down. Whether he was genuinely injured or not, I'll let you be the judge of that. Strakowski. Players slipping all over the shop out there in this first half. are coming out. Vinka. Now Strakowski. Vinka again. Gets the shot off and wide. Timeout called by the Dutch. So both sides having used their timeout. The Netherlands getting their noses in front, doing the damage early on in this first half. That most recent of chances for Germany. 
right across the face of Gudu Gabilba's goal line. So both coaches again having their input. That's all they can do player to player right now. All the advice they can give. So just under seven minutes remaining in the first half. Germany nil, Netherlands three. Kellerman, Tigues and Van Dijk all on the score sheet for the Netherlands. Perfect start for them. Dutch who made it all the way to the outdoor World Cup final as well last year in Den Haag, losing out to Australia in the outdoor final. Lazy and a little bit sloppy in the end from Kellerman. The Germans with Otter up front looking for that deflection come close. Close but no cigar. There's another look at it. Otter just in the frame of your picture there. You could argue that if he has his stick out there, he'd get a deflection. Lars Bauk. Otter. Little foot there, earned by Kranstauber. Three goals in the tournament for him. Plenty of Dutch support here in the arena Leipzig. Five and a half minutes left to go. Those orange shirts are slightly outnumbered by the number of German flags here, as you'd expect. Kind of wash with black, red and gold. <laughs> Halka getting a stern talking to there from the umpire as well. Going shoulder to shoulder with Kellerman inside the circle. Get some makeup, boys. No love lost out there between these two sides. Off the pitch, the best of friends, but when it comes down to it, there's a place in the indoor Hockey World Cup final up for grabs. Germany certainly aren't going to be giving up the ghost anytime soon. <laughs> Stick tackle in there, spotted by the umpire. Kranstauber, the offender. Important tackle though, important jab because Ress was just about to get his shot off. Here is Ress. Helpful with him there on the left. Corn in midfield, he's doing all the legwork. Helker now sets off on one of his driving runs, this time down the left. Tucks it under his body, there's a the deflection goal. One back for Alexander Otter and one back for Germany. It all came from that thrusting run from Tobias Hulker. The two Germans linking up and we're back in business. Das ist gut. Germany one, Netherlands three. It's a 13th goal of the tournament for Alexander Otter. And it gets Germany back into this game. Now just two goals difference between the two. Kellerman though for the Netherlands with numbers committed forward by the Germans. Kellerman around the back. First and out. This is the momentum that we talk about. Germany have it at the moment. Just the energy goes up by 10-15% both of the players and here in the arena. Kellerman around the back, shoots and scores! In on the near post. The Netherlands celebrate. And I wasn't sure there whether the umpires were just going to confer, but I don't think there's too much to confer about. Yep, that's a goal. 
right through the legs of Tobias Halker. 4-1. Bjorn Kellerman, again, his second goal. And now his 11th of the tournament. Oh, he knew it was going to be a thriller. Haven't been disappointed so far. What a first half. It's flown by. Just two minutes, 45 left on the clock. And I guess there's so much riding on this game because if you look at the strength of the opposition in the other half of the table, well, Iran or Austria, both these sides would fancy their chances. And that was van der Peppel who felt hard done by This is now Venka. Two left on the clock. First half coming to a close. And Germany sneak another one back just before half time. They might have to do something drastic here in the second half and potentially take their goalkeeper off. First at foot there. Penalty corner. They're saying it was lifted. The Dutch saying it was lifted. The umpires will confer. Oh, I don't know, tough to tell from that angle. All glove, says the umpire. And they have actually seen it back on the slow motion replay, I think, on the board. So no penalty corner. It was all glove. Time it's Rohoff that sets off down the left hand boards as the Germans defend them. They're slightly weaker side. That's why he felt he could just accelerate into that space. Good lead towards the ball from Kranstauber. Rohoff just plays in, lies. Some serious legwork being done there. Final minute of play. Germany trail by three. Holker back on the pitch on this right-hand side, wearing number 13 with his back to us. Let's see if the German can have an impact. He certainly did and was the creator of Germany's one and only goal so far, scored by Alexander Otter. Bjorn Kellerman with two, Robert Tigues with the opening goal in the first minute, and Kasper van Dijk for the Netherlands. 4-1 the score as we approach half-time. The Dutch deservedly in front. This is Lies. Space in the midfield now for Kranstauber. Just run it off down into that corner. Doesn't need to do anything silly here. First step. Final play for Germany. Good tackle. Kellerman, oh, was looking for his hat-trick. Ran it onto his own foot. Well, the Germans are visibly rattled, and you just have to take a look at the scoreline to see why. The Hoot has gone for half-time, and this five-minute breather will be a welcome one for the Germans, because at half-time, Germany trail. It's Germany one, Netherlands four. For the neutral, what a game to watch. That's the sort of pace that you want to see this game played at. It is a great demonstration of how to play international indoor hockey. Tigues, Van der Peppel, and Kellerman with two. The perfect start for the Dutch, wasn't it? Scoring after first minute. Alexander Otter, the only reply for the Germans on 27 minutes. Excellent half of hockey as far as the Netherlands were concerned. Faultless, this was the goal that got them on their way. Such a tight angle, did well to thread that past. Felix Roos will be disappointed not to have had that near post covered. Tobias Holker, the strongest of the players, could have scored here, but a good save from Gude de Gebeuren. Bounce back fortunately for the Dutch defence as well. Somehow they found another way 
pass Roos. This was their third. Another scrappy one, but Kellerman won't complain. Their third, his tenth of the tournament. And things just not going to plan for the Germans. They're an example from Strakowski, who got it stuck under his foot. So the fourth goal coming in from Bjorn Kellerman. He has two in the game. The German fans still smiling and still, let's reiterate, there's a long way to go in this semi-final contest between these two hockey legends. It's Germany versus the Netherlands. And we've got all the second half action to come. Just under three minutes to go. So if you need to dip off to the toilet, now's the time to do it. If you need to go and top up that glass, because it is the weekend, of course, then go and do it now. The second half between Germany and Netherlands, the first men's quarter-final of the Indoor Hockey World Cup. Second half on the way very shortly. back to Leipzig it's the men's semi-final between Germany and the Netherlands Netherlands with their noses out in front comfortably too three goal difference four won the score on the board and 20 minutes left to play Netherlands are 20 minutes away from the final have they got the discipline to hold on they've certainly got the grounding to deliver another shock result here on Super Saturday Germany to push back, playing from right to left. They trail here by four goals to one. Tobias Holker in possession. Moritz Förster alongside him. The two German veterans, still young, but they've won three times the World Cup. They've been here before, they've seen it all before. They've probably trailed like this before at club level and also international level. Anything can happen in the next 20 minutes. And the Netherlands getting off to the perfect start, scoring inside the first minute of the first half through Robert Tigues, their captain. And goals from Kasper van Dijk. And a nice double from Bjorn Kellerman in that first half. The Netherlands did claw one back through Alexander Otter. That's the best passage to play for the Germans. Let us know your indoor hockey experience. Give us a shout out as well for your hockey club, FIH underscore hockey. And FI Hockey on Instagram and FI Hockey on Facebook as well. You can hashtag your comments, IWC 2015, hashtag FI Hockey as well. Let us know where you're enjoying the tournament. Who knows where you are around the road or on the globe watching it. 
Hopefully you're enjoying it as much as it's here in Leipzig. A great venue. We've been here once before in 2003 when Germany won it then. Germany have never lost the World Cup. They've only lost one game in their entire history. That was against Poland in the preliminary stages of the tournament in 2011, four years ago. They lost the game 3-2, but went on to win the final and took home gold medals and the World Cup in Poznan. Gold medals at all three previous World Cups then. Are we going to see another shock here today? It's another shock semi-final if you're a seasoned veteran to indoor hockey. We've got Austria versus Iran in the second semi-final. Both those sides making history. And I tell you what, the Netherlands could do here as well. Tigues at the back and they're more than happy just to keep banging it off the other end at the moment. Wastes about 10 seconds of play. The Netherlands, who have never podiumed, would you believe it, indoors at the World Cup. Fifth in Leipzig in 2003, didn't even play in 2007. And fifth in Poznan in 2011. Penalty corner for Germany. Keeper came out to smother the ball. Rudiger Berda penalised right underneath the umpire's nose and I think Rudiger Berda just wanting some explanation as to why that was given. Umpire is not going to overturn his decision. Germany will have their first penalty corner of this game. Strakowski at the top of the D. Herzbuch as well and Hawker. Needs a good injection first. It's smooth. Strakowski takes it and scores. No wide. Hit the netting. And from the commentary position here, we thought that was the netting of the goal. It's the side netting here, just behind the goal, that was rustled. And the score remains Germany 1, Netherlands 4. And the crowd that side of the pitch as well were up on their feet. The ball really does travel at a million miles an hour. Great strike from Strakowski. Didn't take any time in taking his shot. 16 minutes left. Germany still trail by three. Still having to rub my eyes a little at the scoreline. I've got to admit, I was not expecting Netherlands, ranked sixth in the world, to give Germany the run around in that first half. And let's not just call it a run around, it dominated it. Absolutely took them to the cleaners. Hulker. This is where they look dangerous. When he sets off on those runs, keeps his cool. And Gudegabura keeps his head too. Strakowski. One on one at the back. Reverse stick shot. Good save from Gudegabura again. Well, the Germans saying that, that was a lifted ball, and I've got to say, it looked like it from up here as well, inside the D, so it would have been a penalty corner. That's why there are a few boos ringing out around the arena Leipzig incidentally that second semi-final coming your way at 8.30 just gone 7.35 local time so just under an hour or so to go until you can see Austria and Iran playing out for that other final place one of those two teams will make the final but who will they face will it be Germany or the Netherlands at the moment it's the Netherlands going through and as we said they would earn their highest ever finish in an indoor World Cup. They'll do that anyway because their highest to date is fifth in Poznan and also in Leipzig. And the worst they can do here is fourth. And hopefully they won't have an absolute stink here in the latter part of this game because at the moment they're controlling things. That was a good save too from Gouda Gabura. There's the lift that we were talking about and you see it clearly comes off the ground. I'm sure the German broadcasters enjoying watching that a few times. And I'm sure they've got something to say about it too. You don't underestimate how quickly a game can turn around. 
Germany's one goal here would give them the momentum. And so often you see a second goal going straight after the first one goes in. Korn. Such low technique from the defence. That was Nicky Lies with the final touch. No long corners in the shorter form of the game. No aerials allowed either. So that's why the game is played so close to the ground. Great position. This to make it five. Important save from Raus. Counter attack now for Germany. Korn, good save. Gudegabura punches it straight back out. Both keepers making valuable saves there. First up, Felix Roos in the German goal. Card here as well for the Netherlands. It's gone Kellerman's way. And in the meantime, Germany have now substituted their goalkeeper. They'll go to five outfield players and will look to drum home this two player advantage because there's just three outfielders now for the Netherlands. Tobias Holker will take on the goalkeeping duties with that yellow bib on. And basically, he acts as a goalkeeper inside the D, but outside of that, he can just play like an outfielder. Germany should score here, really. And they go wide. They've got the numbers. And that was their chance. Felter, Felker, Fabian Felker, who has five goals in the tournament. Moritz first are there, back on the pitch. Germans screening up here. Rohoff. Holker now back with the ball. Tap in surely. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh, dear. Now that is a shocking miss from Tobias Litz. He just had to put it in the goal. That could be the turning point and could be the talking point for the rest of the night too. <laughs> Netherlands back up to full strength. And so the Germans electing to put their goalkeeper back in. Have a look at this for a miss. Big build up, now you see him, now you don't. That's magic. Well, yeah, that missed moments ago from Tobias Leitz. But that hasn't done too much damage for Germany's chances here. First up. He'll battle on till the end. We are approaching that final quarter of the game now. Oh dear. Great step. Vicky lies again. Dutch quite happy just to retain the ball. Well, there really was no pressure here on the shoulders of the Netherlands, and they're playing freely. Scoring freely too. All four of their goals coming inside the first half. No goals as yet in the second. Good steal from Tobias Hulker. First or alongside him. He'll go himself. Oh, pulled it all the way back to the top of the D where he thought first there was and he'd actually gone far post. So here we are inside the final 10 minutes. It's Germany 1, Netherlands 4. We're seeing a yellow card now being shown. But a tackle. Two minutes Simbin. In the meantime, we'll see that miss again. Keeper gets something on this. No, all post. Well, yeah, outside of that, whilst we were watching the replay, Bjorn Kellerman has been shown a yellow card this time. Again, the Netherlands will go down a player, this time for two minutes, and it was for a tackle 
up the other end of the field. So just three outfield players for the Netherlands for the next two minutes. Germany again will look to capitalise and score in that power play. Van der Peppel trying to waste a bit of time there. Hurstbrook. This is Venker. Holker. Venker again. Stravkovsky just lurking on the baseline. Still there. Holker. Got the angle for the deflection if they want. Right ball to Ron with Stravkovsky. Venker on the far post. Flick shot comes in. Parried away. Stravkovsky again, shoots and scores. Germany get one back through Stravkovsky. His 12th goal of the tournament. And what an important goal that sees Germany enter back into this contest. With just under nine minutes left, it is Germany two, Netherlands four. Stravkovsky tight angle. Whips that one through. Good wristy action. Keeps the ball low. And the Germans calling a timeout. It's actually gone through the keeper's pads, that one. Halker with the ball. And the keeper will be disappointed not to have got his legs closer together there. Guda Gebure. Again, we talked all about momentum in the first half. This is an example of it again, one more time. With nine minutes left to play, it's Germany two, Netherlands four. With the crowd up on their feet, and they'll probably stay there for the remainder of this game. They know they can play their part. Holker at the back on this left-hand side, closest to us. Round the back again. Still the Netherlands down by one player. Holker shoots. Follow-up shot comes in. Aggressive defending from Nicky Lies. Kellerman edging to get back on, but he's still in the sim bin. And one more goal here for Germany will really swing things. Ress, Korn and Otter all coming on as substitutes. Halker remains on. He's the impact player for Germany. When he runs at the Netherlands, really does boss it and take control. Kellerman back on then, and we're back up to full numbers on both sides. Germany in the attacking circle, though, pulled out. This time by Tigues, Netherlands captain, keeping a cool head. Going to waste a few more seconds. Still Germany two, Netherlands four. Germans with the only score of the half. Stravkovsky. Getting Germany second. Now they go in hunt of their third. Halka. Rest down. Picks back going down that left flank, but this time a bit more space. Crossfield passes on. Corn with the ball back to Hawker. Reverse stick shot, hit the keeper, he didn't know too much about it. Right in the chest pad, just had to stand his ground. Tiguez, highest goal scorer in Poznan. Here he is on the ball now, trying to continue his tally upwards in this tournament. Trying to get his side through to the final. Germany ball, long ball from Hulker, good step from the Dutch defender. Oh, that's unlucky, thought that was a good tackle. Moritz first up at uh, Hulker. It's Ress over on the right hand side. Will he take it on? No, he doesn't. Just floats it back into first up under the shoulder. Shot comes on. Good save. Left pad save this time 
from Gudegebura. They are peppering the Dutch goal at the moment, the Germans. Keep having to occupy as much of the goal as possible. He's only been beaten once in the second half and once in the first half by Alexander Otter. Double strike from Kellerman and Tiguez and Van Dijk on the score sheet for the Netherlands. Final five and a half minutes. Two on two at the back. Kellerman, good save from the keeper who was off balance and on his back foot. The game starting to stretch now. More pace injected into it. There's the ball back to Halker, changing the angle. Slap ball forward, looking for the deflection. Wrong side of the goal from Felker. Fabian Felker getting on a little touch, but not able to help it on towards goal. Angles don't quite work there on the boards. Halker comes off for a short break. Venker into the mix. And Liet. German ball just inside the attacking half. Final five minutes of play now. Germany need to score again here in the next couple of minutes. What stage do they consider taking off their goalkeeper? Probably in the next 60 seconds or so. Might be a tad aggressive for the Germans who will back themselves to score two goals in 90 seconds. One of these two sides will face Austria or Iran in tomorrow's final. Final which takes place at 2.30 in the afternoon. This to concrete it. Can the Netherlands squeeze out another goal here? They can certainly bleed a bit more time off the clock with now just four minutes left to play. Germany chasing the game. Remember they have always made the final. First up, oh no, there was a chance. Strzelkowski on the far post. That would have drawn it back to just a one goal difference. First are unable to complete the pass to Strzelkowski. Here he is, just in your frame there. Oh, wrong side. If he'd gone reverse stick, that would have been an easy goal. Well, Germany having hit the post, missed a chance like that. Maybe it's not to be their day. Hulker again with the quick restart. Finds Foster. Strzelkowski in position again, looking for that deflection. Good defence. This time, Kranstauber. Standing his ground. We're into the final three. Oh, what a game this has proved to be. Netherlands doing all the damage in the first half. Scoring all four goals then. Germany the defending champions. Strzelkowski. The boost this time for the Dutch because they felt that that was deliberately put across the baseline as Strzelkowski went here. It's that challenge there. Was it deliberately swept across the baseline or not? I'll let you be the judge. Turn Ruhoff knows. Strzelkowski to Furster, one on one against Ruhoff. Overlapping run from Liet. Ruhoff was having a blinder back there. Real terrier. Two on one, Strzelkowski will have to come back. Holker taken on by Kellerman. And as we approach the final 90 seconds, surely Germany want to get their keeper off, don't they? Holker might be able to do it here in open play. Squeezes another one past the goalkeeper. Oh, we're in for a thriller. What a climax to this game. A third goal for Germany. Alessio Ress with the strike on target. It's Germany three, Netherlands four. What a nail-biting finish. <laughs> the crowd up on their feet. And why not? Germany just need one more to take it to a shootout.
Furster and Hawker at the back. The experience. Just one goal in the next 60 seconds will do it. Here's a chance with Korn on. Oh, they've done it! Would you believe it? The Germans get a fourth. It is Alexander Otter that gets his second of the game and Germany's fourth. And do you know what? They could still win it. It's Germany four, Netherlands four. What a finish from the German number nine. His 14th goal of the tournament and the most important to date. Germany then to win it with 30 seconds to go. Furster wins the free hit. Quickly taken. The shot this time deflected. Looked like it was a corner to me. Did it come off the pad? And it doesn't matter. What a comeback from the Germans. Final play from them. Need to get it into the circle. There's the flick and what a save to keep the Netherlands in it because that would have been heartbreak. Guda Gabura getting the final touch for the touch. And this one goes to a shootout. Well, fierce fight from the Germans. Moritz first and looks up to the sky. Your full-time score here. Germany four, Netherlands four. This one's heading for a shootout. Well, what a comeback from the German side. That was the final strike. Moritz first, they're on target. And a right-handed save from Guda Gavura to keep his side in it. Now then, three players will be selected by the German coach. Three players will be selected by the Dutch coach. And they will have each six seconds to try and score. Their confirmation of the full-time score, a 4-4 thriller in Leipzig. And semi-final number one goes to a shootout. Have a look around and see which of the players still have their sticks in their hands because they are more than likely the three players that will be taking the shoot outs. The rest of the side will take their place and watch along with the rest of us. Well, you couldn't ask for anything better. Just the finish we were after as the neutral. Which way are you swinging towards? Is it going to be Germany or the Netherlands that make it through to the final? Remember, Germany have never not made the final. They've never, ever, ever lost a final either. They are the defending champions, the three times champions of the Indoor Hockey World Cup. These guys don't know what it's like to lose. They're on the brink of only their second ever defeat in international indoor hockey. Tobias Holker has his stick in his hand. As does Moritz Furster for Germany. And their third player that will be taking a shootout is Fabian Felker. The three Dutch players are no surprise the Netherlands captain Robert Tiguez. Robert van der Peppel has also stepped up to take a shootout and it looks to me like could be Tun Rohoff. He still has his stick in his hand and there he is in the front of your picture. No doubt who the goalie will be, it'll be Guda Gabura who made that match winning save in the end with the very last play. Fairy tale ending but for which side? 
We'll be shooting into the goal away to our left hand side from the commentary box. The goal which the Netherlands were defending in that second half. Right then, are you settled for this one? Dig in. The concluding part of this first semi final coming your way. That's what the crowd think of it here in Leipzig. But hopefully, you're enjoying it at home as well. Well, whatever you're doing for the next three or four minutes, stop, sit down, take your place in front of your computer, gather your friends around. decide who you're going to back. Obviously if you're Dutch you'll be shouting for the Netherlands. The Netherlands will be shooting first and their captain Robert Tiguez will go first. So Tiguez for the Netherlands. Felix Raus for Germany in goal. The first shootout of three. Six seconds to try and get it into the goal. Here we go, it's business time. Six seconds on the clock. Tiguez sets off. Thinks about going forehand and slots it under the keeper. The Netherlands take the lead. Netherlands one, Germany nil. First shootout on target and through the legs, guided through nicely by Robert Tiguez. Kept his cool and gets his side off to the perfect start. Now the German captain, Tobias Halker. Again, six seconds on the clock for Halker. Looks to spin, tucks it round the keeper at full stretch and makes it 1-1. Perfect answer to Tiguez's goal. Germany won, Netherlands won. Next up for the Dutch, it is Robert van der Peppel. Five goals in the tournament for him. This to make it six. Netherlands, second shootout. Goes forehand again. Same sort of manoeuvre that we saw from Tobias Halker. And the Netherlands make it 2-1. Van der Peppel's effort. Here he goes, swivels round the keeper. Same sort of motion. Moritz Furster, number 21 for Germany. Here he goes off on his mission. Oh, he's had it taken away from him. Gudrun Gaberda getting a stick in and sweeping it away from Moritz Furster. So then. If the Netherlands score this, they will go through to their first ever indoor hockey world final. Tun Rohoff steps up. Felix Rauch takes his place on the baseline in the goal. This for a place in the 2015 Indoor Hockey World Cup final. Rohoff shoots and it goes wide. Germany handed a lifeline. Netherlands missing their final shootout. And now Germany must score this to take it to sudden death. The Germans off again. They're brought down. And the celebrations begin for the Netherlands because they are going to their first ever indoor World Cup final. They've gone all the way down the other end to celebrate and spare a thought for poor Fabian Felker who missed the penalty. But the Netherlands have beaten the defending champions. It went all the way to a shootout, but they end up beating them by two goals to one in the shootout. And that'll sit heavy on the hearts of the Germans and Fabian Felker will carry that through his career. It won't feel good today and it won't feel good tomorrow. But contrasting emotions in the camp for the Netherlands. They have done it. Never ever before 
have they podiumed at an indoor hockey world cup this year they will will it be gold or will it be silver and indeed who will they face in the final tomorrow it'll either be austria or iran they play at 8 30 tonight so just 25 minutes or so to go until that semi-final. There again, the way that Guna Gavura just fished it away from Moritz Furster, he did exactly the same to Fabian Felker. Stop him if you can. Setting a new world record there over the 44 meter length of the arena. Came in with that forehand stick, took it away from Felker, and the Dutch go through quite literally was a flying Dutchman. Well, Tobias Holker, inconsolable. He scored his penalty, converted in the shootout. There is confirmation of the shootout scorers. Holker for Germany, Tigues and van der Peppel for the Netherlands. And the Netherlands winning it in a shootout. Or it's first away to the right of your screen there, inconsolable having a moment to himself in the goal. Germany worked so hard to get back into that game. And that is the first time that a lot of these guys have had to deal with failure. And that's how they see it in their head, they really do. Just one loss in their entire career against Poland in the 2011 Indoor World Cup. And now a second loss for the Germans. Doesn't feel good, they're not used to it. So commiserations to Germany, who will play for that bronze medal against the losers of the second semi-final, that's Austria versus Iran. It's on the way in about half an hour's time, if you can stay with us on FIH.ch. Germany will play for bronze tomorrow, that game at 11.30 tomorrow morning, the final at 2.30, and the Netherlands will feature in that. But who will they take on, Austria or Iran? We shall wait to see. From all of us here, a short brief bye for now. Come back and join us in half an hour's time.